Well, we're crossing from Louisiana into Arkansas in uh, 0.6 miles. Okay, here we go. Continue on Arkansas 159, entering Arkansas. Welcome to Arkansas. Hi guys, just a quick update. We are at Saracen Casino car park for an overnight. We've just arrived in Arkansas. So we've been in Arkansas, what, about an hour and a half? And we're just gonna chill out for the night before we head off to Tompkins um, Campground, uh, which is right beside Hot water? No. Hot springs. Hot springs in Arkansas. So, there we go. Hi guys, absolutely pouring down with rain at the moment, but I'm going to do the quick update and review of the Tompkin Bend campsite. We are on the way. stayed at the campsite for six nights. We uh, repaired the jack stands on the first day that we were there. were there, I hurt my back, so we pretty much didn't do a lot more um, maintenance work on the van or, or sightseeing. On the last day, my back started to come good, so we headed out to um, Hot Springs, uh, and there'll be another video about that, which I'll stick up here somewhere. Um, now the campsite itself, very very nice, lots of wildlife, lots of wildlife. The biggest drawback is it doesn't have a, a sewer connection at the, at the campsite, you only get power and water, um, but there is a dump site on site. Uh, doing your walk around, if you do like twice around the park, you get about 8,000 steps. Um, there's some really wonderful walks that you can go on. Uh, we did a couple of those, um, which took us across country a little bit. Fantastic place for going and doing any water sports. There's boat ramps and all, all manner of fishing and all of those things. And first time we've gone out to a restaurant, which was a place called Shangri-La. We went there for lunch, very, very affordable um, and nice to be able to just sit down and relax and have a cup of coffee and lunch together. Um, so. Would we go back to Tompkin Bend if we were heading this way? Yes, not, probably not for six nights, probably for a couple of nights only, but definitely we would be happy to go back. Um, one big drawback for T-Mobile users, you've virtually got no um, data connection whatsoever. Um, we would uh, send a, a WhatsApp message and it would probably take about five minutes for it to actually go anywhere. Um, so yeah, really, really poor T-Mobile network. Um, I did flick on to uh, roaming and I think AT&T was, was really, really good. Um, but I'm a tight ass and I wasn't prepared to pay for it, so I switched it back off again. Um, so yeah, there you go. As usual, if you like the videos, hit that subscribe, hit the like button. See you next time, guys. Thanks very much for watching.